Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at an ambient light sensor, an ALS, and the ambient light sensor that we're going to look at is the VEML 7700. Now, if you look at this breakout board, this rectangular component here is the ambient light sensor. Now, this breakout board is made by Adafruit, and we can interface it to a microcontroller, like our Pico, over the I2C bus. Now, if we power the module with 5 volts, the SDA and SCL lines on the I2C bus will be at a 5 volt level, and we can interface it to a 5 volt microcontroller, like an Arduino Nano. But if we power the board with 3.3 volts, the SDA and SCL lines will be at a 3.3 volt level, and we could, we could interface it to our R microcontroller, in our case, our Pico microcontroller. Now, the data extracted from the I2C bus will be in lux. The lux is the amount of light that falls on a surface, so it will be the amount of light that will fall on the surface of the sensor, as opposed to a lumen, which is the total amount of light emitted by a light source in all directions. Now, the lux output, the range of lux output of the sensor is 0 to a 120k lux, which is a pretty high level lux, which would be like direct sunlight, and the resolution is 0 0.0036 of a lux. Okay, here is a chart of some lux level examples. And you can see one lux would be full moon overhead, one hundredth of a lux would be a quarter moon on a clear night, and if you look down, family room is about 50 lux, a very dark overcast day, 100 lux, office lighting from 320 to 500 lux, sunrise or sunset, 400 lux, and if you go right to the very bottom, direct sunlight is 32k to 130k lux. So you can see the sensor has a large dynamic range. Okay, I have my ambient light sensor powered up, and I'm running a program on the Pico that's measuring the amount of light that falls on the surface of the sensor in lux. And if I turn off the light to my bench, you can see the LEDs will go out. And if I turn on the light, LEDs come on. It's measuring the lux intensity of my bench light. Now if I create a shadow with my hand, I'll slowly bring a shadow over the sensor. And you can watch the LEDs. It's indicating less and less lux intensity. And I bring my hand back. So you slowly come up and all the LEDs will turn on. Okay, as humans, we can perceive light intensity logarithmically. So we could detect a candle in a dark room and we could work in direct sunlight. So we have a large dynamic range. Now to get a large dynamic range from the sensor, we have to adjust the gain and the integration time. So you can see here a gain of two, we would use that for a very low level lux and a gain of one eighth for a high level uh, lux like direct sunlight. And our integration time would be the amount of time that the sensor will soak up the light intensity. So in my case, I was using 100 milliseconds for my integration time and a gain of one quarter. So that gave me a resolution of 0 0.2304 lux. And that will give me a, a maximum lux reading of 15,099. Now the I2C bus gives us 8-bit bytes, so we read 2 bytes and we turn that into a 16-bit word, you can see here. So in this example, a 16-bit word is 1480, and I programmed my gain to 1 quarter with the integration time of 100 milliseconds. So that gave us our resolution of 0 0.2304, so 1480 times 0 0.2304 equals 341 lux. So that's how we calculate the lux coming out of the sensor. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer, which is connected to my Pico board, which is connected to the light sensor over the I2C bus. So if I hit enter on my keyboard, I get an OK prompt. So I'm running a little program in fourth, in my crisp fourth. So the first thing I'll do, I want to check the I2C address of my sensor. So I'll run my scanner. And we're picking up hex 10. So it's decimal 16, so that's the address of my of my ALS, my ambient light sensor. So now next I'll set up my integration time and my gain. So my integration time would be 100 milliseconds and my gain will be one quarter. So now if I type lux question mark and print it, I'm getting a lux of 121. So if I turn on my bench light, and we'll try that again, Go lux question mark, print it. I'm getting a lux of 2,455. That was with my bench light on. So we could run a little script. We could go 
we go lux question mark and we'll print that we'll do a carriage return and we'll do that every 100, 100 milliseconds and I'll do that many times so there's my lux readings now if I put my hand down over slowly over my sensor you can see the level starting to change it's going all the way down so I got my hand I got my hand over the sensor so I'll bring my hand up slowly let in more light and there's my maximum lux reading and if I turn off my bench light I'm getting a lower lux and if I do the same thing with my hand and bring my hand down create a shadow all the way down to zero bring it back up and I'll turn on my bench light and we're back to our maximum lux of 2440 okay here's the code running on the Pico and it's written in McCrisp fourth so there's no library I'm actually doing direct register programming so the first two words I made up to set up my integration time and my gain so the first one was 100 milliseconds of integration time and a quarter gain so what it does is sends these two values these two bytes to register zero in the sensor and I'll set up my integration time and my gain so my next word is lux question mark and that's the whole code there so the first thing I do, I initialize the I2C bus, I squared C bus. I do a start. I set up my address, which was hex one zero, and I send that as a write. And I send the address. And then I send a command of, of hex zero four, which means I want to read two bytes, two bytes uh, for my lux uh, values. So I do that. So I start all over again. I do a restart. I send the address, but now I'm doing a read and I send the address now I'm gonna read two bytes back so there's my first byte receive byte and that's my least significant byte and then I read the next byte that's my most significant byte then I take the most significant byte and I shift it left eight times and or it so now I have a 16-bit word I multiply that 16-bit word by 0 0.2304 that's my fixed point and here I I swap drop so what that does is sets my resolution to one lux so I round it off so I'm gonna get a rounded off value uh, of one of one lux resolution so that's my code there lux question mark to read my lux values okay so that was my little tutorial on how to extract lux value data from the I square C bus from the VEML 7700 ambient light detector now if you're library dependent you could actually run MicroPython on the Pico and you could download the library for the VEML 7700. You get that on the Adafruit website. I just wanted to get into the direct register programming. That's what I like to do. That's what my my uh, channel is all about. Is going from from data sheet to code. So either way, you could go either direct register programming or you could download the library. So you could extract the Lux data from the VEML 7700.